Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Dragoon, guys. We have made it to the Divine Tree. We are making our way up it to go into the moon that never sits. That is spouting out Farage like a motherfucker has no business doing. And we're gonna go destroy Zeke's plans. Oh, this is exciting shit. And as I said two episodes ago, we beat Faust! Still can't believe it. I'm still pumped about that. Fuck Faust. What are you? Rose, what's this? It's a fruit of the divine tree. It seems to be dried up, though. Fruit. Did all the species really arise from such small things? Only the creator Soa knows that. So it's just a legend for us. But we are standing on the divine tree, which supposedly was in the same legend. We'd better believe it. I guess so. Let's move on. We'd better hurry, or there will be no one even to tell the legend. And there's nothing else to do with the fruit. Time to battle whatever's on the tree. Is everyone else pumped up? We finally made it here. It's been over a year. I did this way back when I was 14, 15 for this channel. Now I'm sitting here at a nice 22. Giving it all to you guys again. The Manticore. Take back on this sweep. And we can even one-shot these guys. We're still one-shotting bitches. Well, we cannot one-shot with her. That's just a given. And really, you gave fear to Dart? We might survive this now. Yep. Well, I got to complete the addition, which is nice. We're gonna stop attacking with Hashel as soon as we get his addition fully completed, because we want to get Darks done. We want to get uh, Mirrors done. No point in to continue attack with Hashel if his. Additions complete if his Dragoon Spirit is all the way up. We may as well complete everybody else's, which how many times more? Hashel? I know we checked in the last episode, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Uh, we just need nine more Omni Sweeps. And we won't have to attack with him for a while. Look at all of those Barrage. That is messed up. I think this fruit was shed by some kind of fish. One of the fruits are risen from the divine tree. Yes, it was the same for us humans. The god of destruction will start the same way, won't it? Yes, let's move on. See, but that looks like healing water. I kind of wish it was. Could use a little bit of that heal and... This is a big fucking tree! It takes a while to get to the top. We have a manticore, and I cannot tell you what that thing is. Uh, apparently, it's a cute cat. It doesn't look that cute. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yes. Tell us, go. Tell us. Tell us, go. Woo! Blazing dynamo. Hash will kill it off. Take that on this week. Yo, dead. And let's go for the cute cat. Fuck! We've been doing so well lately. Oh, you attack like a cat. We've been Omni Sweep for so long that it doesn't even feel hard anymore. A D petrify. Hey, we leveled up! No, I don't need a fucking... Yes, discard the D petrify. We don't need it. We don't need it. I'm just gonna go Dragoon with Dart soon, just so we can get rid of the fear. This fear's just annoying. This stream, it looks like it's sending a vital force to the moon that never sets. It must be that the Divine Tree is getting ready to give birth to the God of Destruction. Then if we take this stream in, this 
Yes, it'll carry us to the top. Let's hurry. You got it. To the moon. Whoa! God, that looks fun. What a stream! There's Kongle. Lagging behind a little bit. That thing is creepy. We got right up close. In addition, maybe because we let ourselves flow in the vital force, I feel revitalized. It means that the power of the divine tree that gave birth to all species is still alive. In order to kill all the species, it revived the power. Which means we just got fully healed, which is whatever. Landing success successful. Ta! And everyone fell. Well, except there. You made the bug mad. What is that? Ugly. It's ugly. It looks like a bug. Dude, Kongo's landing awake in it. Well, off it went. Fucking nightmare creature. We gotta get going. Oh, we acquired the white silver dragon's armor. Which is Miranda's best. Which, you know what? Where are you, Miranda? I'm gonna give you your absolute best armor. No point. Nullifies damage to the light based attacks. Give. My god. Almost worth giving you that, too. Like, god damn. Yeah, we'll give you a tiara, too. She's kind of really, really, really. W just. Ah! Revitalizing water. My favorite water. Apparently, we don't fight in here. I wonder why I panned up on that. Damn it! Probably more armor. <laughs> what do we got though? What do we got? Okay, that thing's ugly. Okay. Can we not hit my dudes with an effect? Great, now Dark's half blind. We're gonna go for the pot belly. Why am I fucking it up now? Fuck you, pot belly. Dark's. We can't even attack. Yeah, it's Dragoon then. Fuck him. I'm not gonna fuck around. I am just gonna kill. Perfect! Pot Billy did. Now, just a slug. And I fucked up Omni Sweep. Are you serious? <laughs> Fucking everything up. We were doing so good at the start of the episode. Thank you. Another step closer to completing it. A lot of XP for this area, too. We do, we do, we do. Oh, it's just... This is one of the fruits, too? 
Yes, and all the species who were born in this way are about to be annihilated. Rose. Let's get going. It is pretty dramatic. Can't lie to you. That the tree that gave life to everything is going to be the reason it all falls. No, no, I'm gonna get this fight done and then I will do the save point. Two manticores. I mean, I guess you can give me fear, but. Oh, you can charge your spirit! Did you really give me fear? I'm getting real sick of this shit. And I fucked it up. There we go. Didn't fuck up the perky. And I am killing you. Charge your spirit? That, that scares me. And another one. God damn, Hashel. You're just clearing house. Awesome. Level 37. I don't remember what my final level was at the first playthrough. I might look into it, though. I'm gonna save here now. Better to save after the battle. Otherwise, we just save and we have to go do into a battle. We'll save over Mayfill, which is from quite a while ago now. And off we go! Take that, another battle. Another one. You're gonna see me get up and move for a second, folks. That was a rare chase move segment, but I had to get my bottle of liquor. Okay, that, that was on me, I was too slow and I admit it. Still gonna kill it. Castle like is a beast. One shot, everything. Woo! 110. Oh, I can't complete shit right now. Getting flustered with it. Okay, I think we just completed Hashels. Not gonna lie to you, I think it's done. I'm going to check. And if we are, we're done attacking with them for now. Because we got other additions we gotta really get power on. So we did get Blazing Dynamo to 20. He is one away, and she is four away from the first level up. So Hashel gets one more attack. We can see the moon now. In game time, I wonder how long it actually took to climb to scale this thing. I'd imagine it took a good chunk of time. It'll be soon. Yes, but look at that. Is it the bug? Is that the caterpillar from back there? It's a miracle. There are un... Oh, there was an unhatched fruit left over. And it wants to fight. It is a subspecies of a new insect. It was just born. It is coming after us. That's why there was the save point. Boss number one of the moon. A fucking bug. And dirt is in fear. 
Oh. It's like, do I go to Dragoon and get rid of it? Don't want to. God, I don't want to. I want to use his attack. But I'm gonna have to. Just Dragoon it. Fucking things hitting me with goddamn fear. And I get perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Hell yeah! What do you feel about that? Okay, 982. Not near what I was hoping. Miru, let's complete it. Yeah, Miru! 308. That's not great either. Omni Sweep has been completed. We will still attack, likely, but Hashel in this fight, though. Because this is a boss battle, and boss battles are a little different. Why do you want to... Why are you only countering Perky Step? The fuck is that about? Already in the yellow. This is easy peasy. Well, I fucked it up. But it's all good. I can't believe we've almost killed you already. I think I am like highly over leveled. <laughs> It's dead. Or at least I thought it was dead. I do not remember you evolving. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Cupa. Ugh. Ah, I didn't get the perfect. But... I don't remember you evolving. 588. Even less damage. It's okay. Ah, fuck! That's not okay, though. It's squirming, and I don't like it. Nine nineteen. No! We don't fail at the end. I fucked it. I'm, see, now I'm just flustered because I keep fucking up Mira's attack. It's gonna evolve again. What the fuck? I don't remember you at all! Why do I not remember you? You look powerful. Kinda mean. Not gonna lie. Imago. I fucked it up. There we go. So Dart probably can obliterate this thing. Six thirty-seven. Not bad. The fire against a bug. I figured it'd be okay. 
probably coming for me pretty bad now. Is that poison? Or is that D spirit? That might have been a D spirit. Fucked up again. There we go. I don't care about fucking up hassles right now, but... You know what? Fucking heal. I need to figure out what's wrong with dirt. That seems bad. Oh! I see what's going on, though. It's a fucking can't combat move. Yes. Fuck you. Blazing dynamo. Okay, that was just bad. Okay, can't combat. Sorry, Miru. That's rough. Well, at least you're done with your fucking can't combat bullshit. Angel's prayer. Fucking bullshit. Go dirt. Yes. Tell go. Tell Tell go. Woo. Blazing dynamo. I do love blazing dynamo. That's mm, good damage. Thinking about it. I'm thinking about going Dragoon just to heal the party, but... Twelve twenty-five. How do you feel about that, Amago? I made it mad. <laughs> okay, it is yellow. That's good. Getting a lot of additions in, though. Again, it's okay to fuck up Hashels, it's still just like a come on, though. But I do need to get Dark so He's gonna be the powerhouse. Ah, uh, we've got enough perky steps in. Let's dragoon it. We need a little bit of team healing, and I don't feel like using my items there, Missy. I can't remember when the next nearest place I can even get an item is, so... It's just Rainbow Brother. Saves me time and energy. Saves me resources. Woo! Everyone's feeling real good now. You know what? I might even use the fucking dragon move on it. Because I think it'd be funny. Yes. Tell go. Tell go. Yeah, boy. 
I'm also curious how much damage it would do to a boss. So, let's see if we can kill it off. Why the fuck not, right? We know we've won. She regains MP every turn she gets. I don't care about using her magic willy-nilly. The dragon's not as threatening as Regal. The Regal, I should say. Boom! Very colorful, though. Like, Mira's magical power is out of this world. Almost 2,000. That's not... Not bad. Not quite what I expected, though. Kind of expected in the 2000s. Ah, oh, fuck you! Did that bounce off of him? I hope so. Just in case it didn't. Finish it off before it can one shot, one kill. Hassle. Don't want to deal with that. Oh, we got a moon. Serenade, a sun, a rap city, and a healing rain. Well, too many places. Too too many items replaced. Yes, I will replace an item. What will I replace? I don't need the sun, Rhapsody. Sorry! Healing rain? Much better. We barely defeated it. Let's go. We are almost at the moon! You know, that line does not come off good, because if you just barely beat a bug, how do you expect to beat your dad? You know. Just a little bit of food for thought there. Moon that never sets, it is spreading poison all over the world. In order to stop the poison, we have to reach the core of the moon. Before it is too late. Unless Shauna and the core, as Rose says, are wedded, the god of destruction won't be born, right? It is a dilemma for us because we want to take Shauna back. If we don't meet Shauna, and if we can destroy only the core of the moon, the world will be saved. But Zeke is here for sure, with Shauna. That is the only chance to save her. We will save both the world and Shauna. Fate is not in the hands of the creator, it is in our hands. We won't let Soa decide the fate of our world. That goes for Shauna's fate as well. We will decide our own fate. Strong speech. How confident are you, though? Mm. Up into the moon we go. How many Farage do you think that thing has produced? I think it's a wild amount. We're here. Is this the moon that ever sets? Yes. It has been long. Very. Let's get going. Yeah, Rose, you must be having quite the time being back in the moon that never sets. Since this place kind of gave birth to you. But whatever. The moon is shaking? Don't tell me the god of destruction is about to be born! Cannot be! The birth of the god of destruction is our death! That's right, we are still alive! Let's go! Must stop my father! Wow! This probably should have been a we must stop my father, but... You know. Mm. Is 
this a forest? I thought we stepped into the moon. But indeed, this tree is a true tree. Oh no, where were we sent to the ground? No. Listen, it's the heartbeat of the Viraj embryo. The god of destruction. An empty body that is the living corpse from which the soul was taken out by ancient winglies on the day it was conceived in the divine tree. We must be in the moon. Then no matter what it looks like, we gotta keep going. That's right, Dart. This is just to trick you. Can't carry more items. That's fine with me. If it's not a weaponry-based shit, I don't really give a shit. Oh, the planes. How I missed the planes from way back at disc one. This game is such a nostalgia. Like, it sends you back and forth to places. That's a fucking unicorn. And that's a baby dragon. Cue Joey Wheeler, please. Swift dragon, I guess. Four sixty-two, not too bad. Ow! Heal up, Hashel, because we do not want you to attack. Just Dart and Miru. Again, unless a boss battle. I did attack with him, but that was an accident. And I'm fucking up her attack. And she's taking damage. Heal up. There we go. Motherfucker. Woo! Another blazing dynamo. Oh, that tune is amazing. This game, I, can't, I cannot express how much I love it. And getting close to the end, I'm kind of getting upset. I'm happy, but upset. It looks like a grassland. Because it is. Although that heartbeat, that's uncomfortable. Now we're in the snowy tundra. Miranda, what's wrong? I know this place. Does it look like the forest of your home? Not only that, it is the forest. Oh, it is the forest of Millicent where I grew up. I'll be back soon. Sorry, but wait for me here. There is something I have to check. Alone. M Miranda? Are we already at that part of the game? As I expected, this is the forest of my home. Why is this on the moon? This rose is... Mother, where are you going? Go home, Miranda. Huh, you have a kid? Uh, yeah. Mother, don't go. Father is calling you. What are you gonna do? Because I married that man, my life has been completely ruined. He hardly works and drinks all the time with the money I earned. I don't even have enough food and I'm and I'm starving every day. I cannot stand it anymore. A beautiful life must be waiting for me if I can leave this forest. Yes, I could say farewell to this miserable life. Now let's go. Mother? Now that is heartbreaking, and it does hit, like, because that's horrible. That's fucking horrible! What? Like, who does that to their child? 
This episode's going a little extra long. Haven't been able to get to a save point. 113. Not bad. I can't quite remember if I'm supposed to really attack this motherfucker. Uh, we're gonna hit it with the psych bomb nonetheless. Miranda sucks. I mean, I'm sure if I did a playthrough with Miranda or Shauna, it would be a little bit different, but I never do. Woo! Almost 2,000 damage. <laughs> Would've taken a few attacks to get there. Why did you abandon Dad and me? Ah, uh, Miranda, I had no choice. Shut up, Dad fell ill and I became an orphan. You can never imagine how I lived since then. Uh, it hurts. This is emotional. This is brutal. Like, Jesus. 182. <laughs> I understand that what I've done is unforgivable as a mother, but I want you to understand. What do you want me to understand? I worked because I didn't want you, a newborn baby, to starve. But he didn't even try to work. My father may not have been a respected man, but at least he was with me all the time, unlike you. Like, oh, it hurts. Like, this is emotional. But I love it. It adds so much depth. Especially to a character I don't completely care about. I can imagine how angry you are at me, but I never forgot about you, even for a moment. Don't lie to me. It's not a lie, I visited him so many times to take you with me. What? Huh? I visited him so many times to take you with me, but every time he just kicked me out. What? My mother was thinking about me? You have the same name as the goddess of Mele. She is pure and loved by everybody. I named you that because it was my wish for you. Ah, uh, it hurts. See, at least this gives her closure, but I don't believe it. You know what I mean? Can't go Dragoon here. whoop de doo I'm just gonna keep hitting this thing in the face with an arrow now. Open up, bitch! Open up, bitch! Thank you! I'm sorry to make you feel... Oh, I'm sorry to make you feel lonely, Miranda. Forgive me. I'll forgive you. Oh, you can forgive me? Thank you, Miranda. An emotional battle, one of the most emotional in the game. Not... Not more emotional than the fucking battle with Lavitz. Nothing can top that. But... Miranda, I, Oh, Mother, I was wrong. I entered the palace in order to preach love and to build a world where everybody can live happily. But my heart was filled with sorrow and hatred. And without knowing, I uh, was absorbed in fighting in order to ease my loneliness. I didn't even try to understand my mother's pain and agony. Just accumulate hatred and hurt many people. I don't deserve to be a sacred sister. Miranda, what happened? Are you really okay? Your eyes are kind of watery. Sorry, please leave me alone now. Let's go. That's the only thing we can do now. Very emotional. Very heartbreaking. Rose and Hashel. Why is Rose here? It's Miru. Miru. My girl. Boom, boom. Yeah, it's another item that I can't grab. I'm just looking for a save point. No, we're... What is this? We gotta go forward anyway. Damn it! I cannot end this episode until we get to another save point. We're already at the 40 minute mark, pretty much. This is one long episode. <laughs> ah, it's a unicorn. Except I can't remember if they actually called it a unicorn. Yep, unicorn. Yes. 
Yeah, let's go, bitch. Blazing Dynamo. How's that feel, unicorn? You're getting your ass handed to you. HP recover. Okay, that really didn't heal much. <laughs> Kind of a pitiful HP recover. Sorry. Heal. And let's go, Dirt. Woo! Dynamo! Really trying just to push forward these additions as much as possible now. I might have to grind a little bit before we get to the end end just so that I have all the additions all the way up um but we'll see oh oh yeah we made it here this place is fucking confusing there are people what's going on why are people living in the moon I still don't know but Rose what are you doing you feel pain. It is certain this is not an just an illusion. This world is reality. Indeed, I've never visited the moon before, but I cannot help but feel I know this place. People's face is closed. It's not a mistake. This is a building of Cyrodiil. I have traveled all over end and knees, and they have typical Cyrodiil faces. Look, the girl over there. Looks Sertian. No. She is not. It cannot be. Disappeared? It looks like this. It looks like that is reality here, too. But. Our boy Sir Hashel knew who that was. Which should give you a strong indication on who it actually is. Um, just putting that out there. Uh, I'm actually gonna save a number four here, just in case. But I will see all you guys in the next episode. This was a longer one. Sorry about that, but in the next one we will continue through the moon that never sets. I'm going to beat this game in this session tonight. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.